All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And today we got a cool action figure from one of my favorite stores, Ollie's. And let's bring it out here right now so you guys can take a look at it real fast. This here is from the movie Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. Now, this thing is really cool, and I got it at an incredible steal. Let me see if I can get it close so you guys can take a look at the packaging. And as you can see here, I paid only $4.99 for this. And this is a really nice figure here. As you can see, he's got an extra head, some weapons there. Nice big open window so you can see the figure. You got some artwork here of Snake Eyes on the side of the box along with G.I. Joe Classified Series. Now this is from the Snake Eyes Origins movie. So it is different, but it is also from the G.I. Joe Classified series, which is cool. Now this here, I'm not sure what is those logos on the side. Here is a picture of Snake Eyes on the back. Once again, really, really cool looking. Now I haven't seen this movie yet. I have it in my collection. I just haven't gotten around to actually sitting down and watching it. But to actually have the figure of Snake Eyes is really cool. I've never really had any of the original G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, so to actually have these classic, classified series ones is really cool, and I hope I can get the, the other one that's out. Just have to keep hunting. But let's go ahead, let's open up this one, and let's take a look at the figure himself. The, the classified series of G.I. Joe's that have been coming out lately, they are really articulate, and they can pose up uh, all different types of positions. Which is really nice. Let's see if there's anything else in this packaging here. Am I missing anything? Nope. All right, so let's get rid of the pack. Let's get rid of the box. Now let's go ahead and let's get the figure off the plastic. I don't want to bend the sword, so let's see. Hopefully, there we go. We got the sword out real cool. This is a little bit thicker, so I can put a little bit more pressure on it don't want to bend any deform anything because it is going to go on the figure all right now it seems like these blades are taped so all i gotta do is just get the tape and i picked a hell of a time to clip my nails so hopefully i can get this tape going let's see i think i got it there there we go I got the knives off, right? And I guess this is his head without the helmet on. Now all you gotta do is just get the figure out. There we go. Let's get rid of this right here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at this figure. Now it is gonna be quite difficult because he is a black on black figure. So. Hopefully my camera will pick up some of these details because he does have a lot of detail to him. It does look like the movie version of Snake Eyes from the G.I. Joe movies that I've watched. I like the detail on him. Stuff like this is really cool. Like when you get the Batman, the Batman figures or any type of movie characters and they kind of they look really, really good compared to the movie. I actually like that, that they had the same details and everything, and this one, having so much detail on it and being so articulate from the Classified series, it's going to be really, really cool. So, once again, we're just going over the details on it real fast. Here, you got the logo there on the side of his arm. Now, let's take a look at some of the articulation here. You can see the head does go all the way down like that. It does go up, left and right. It does do a little bit of a tilt as well, so that's pretty cool. Now the arms, hopefully, let's see. Doesn't seem like he's got the same range as the other figures. Like that looks like it's pretty far as it goes. Looks like it is on both sides. So he doesn't go 90 degrees, and I don't want to stress it out too much right now. But he does have the rotation at the shoulders. He does have the bicep rotation as well. And at the elbow. Being that it's double jointed, we get the all the way up, almost a 180 on the forearm there, which is really good. Now, he does have a little bit of an ab crunch as well. And he does have a little bit of hip rotation, just the same. Now, hopefully, they work the legs the way they did with the other ones. And there you go. He does go 180 at the legs. 
Here we go. It doesn't look like he's doing a full 90 degree angle here. It's something we might have to work on. Now it is a little stiff here at the knee. So hopefully, let's see. There we go. Don't need to go and heat him up a little bit. To able to get him to do it. So there you go. You got the leg that basically folds in on itself. Get him straightened out. Now with the feet, like as always, they got the up and down tiltage. And they have the ankle twist as well. So you have that on the feet, which is good. Let's get them standing up so we can take a look at some of the other features of Snake Eyes here. Hopefully I can get them to stand up. I like it better when the figures can actually stand on their own without the base or anything like that. So, let's see if we can get them to stand. There we go. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that he comes with. Here is his face or his complete head, which is a very nice head sculpt. Like I said, I never seen the movie, so I, I'm assuming this is the way Snake Eyes looks under the under the helmet. Now let's take a look at his sword. The sword is really cool. It's got some gold tint to it. it. Looks really nice. Now I do remember him actually having that same logo that's on his arm on his sword, but they didn't have it here. This one is a little black and yellow on there. Really cool design. It looks like it actually posts up on his back. So let's go ahead and put that on Snake Eyes' back. Looks like there's a placement right here. There we go. All right, now we got two more things here left to look at. Now these look really cool. They look like they're beating up swords that he lo looks like he does a lot of action with. But it doesn't look like there's any place to mount these on the figure himself. It looks like something that he can just hold. And that's about the extent of it. So let's see if we can get these in his hands. Because his hands are molded for holding triggers. Which is kind of weird because he doesn't come with a gun. So to have his hand posed up as if he's having... A pistol or a weapon, a firing weapon in his hands. It's kind of weird being that he has bladed weapons that comes with them. So there must have been another Snake Eyes that came with, with like a rifle or some pistols. And these are basically the, the hands molded off of that one. The fingers are a little bit flexible, but I don't want to go and push them too far out. So I'm going to try to get these in as best I could. Got one in. Now let's see if we can get the other one in here. And I, as always, I, I probably got some weapons in my accessories drawer that I could probably throw on him. I, I got a bunch of accessories that I've gotten from different figures over the years that are just sitting in my accessories drawer, so I could probably give him some sort of weapon. We'll just have to go and take a look in that drawer and see what we got. But there we go, we got him with the blades. Once again, really cool. There's not much to the figure, it's a very simple figure, but it does it is awesome nevertheless. And guys, I think this is where we're gonna end the video for today. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. G.I. Joe against Cobra the Enemy. Don't let Cobra Commander get away! G.I. Joe! It's Cobra Commander! He's stealing our missiles! Look well, get him, rock and roll! Here comes Grand Slam! He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there! G.I. Joe! American hero! We saved the missiles! But you gotta get up early to catch Cobra! Cobra Commander and G.I. Joe figures and equipment each sold separately from Hasbro! G.I. Joe. Alright guys, so that wraps up another episode of Toy Collector Review. Now when it comes to the G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes from the movie Snake Eyes Origins, 
is he worth adding to your collection? Yeah, I do believe so, especially if you're a movie buff like me and you like collecting some of these movie accurate figures. This one is really cool and he's going up on my movie shelf. Why is he not going up on my G.I. Joe shelf? Because this is the movie version of Snake Eyes. There is another Snake Eyes out there. I believe he comes with the Timberwolf that he had in the cartoon series. So the spot on the G.I. Joe shelf will be saved for that Snake Eyes. But nevertheless, this is a cool Snake Eyes. He's going up on the shelf. I believe I have one or two other movie rendition G.I. Joe figures. And he'll go with them. I'll just have to go back and take a look at the shelf. But nevertheless, really cool. Not, love the articulation. Love the suit on it. Wish he had some more accessories, but it is what it is. And guys, once again, we come to that point in the video where if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of this channel. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I put out a new video. And share these videos on all your social media platforms. And guys, do me a favor and hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And guys, if there's anything in particular you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below and I will do my best to get that out there for you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek and I'm signing off.